All right, today we're going to take a look at words that sound bad but aren't. Okay, words in English that sound like they're bad words but、uh, they aren't bad, they're just normal words. Okay, so the first one is penist. Okay, penist, right? A person who plays the piano is called a penist. The word penist can sound a lot like penis. Okay, very often in English when words end in T, the T doesn't get pronounced very loudly. Listen, penist, penist. Can you hear the T at the end of the word? Okay, so, so it, can sound,、uh, it can sound a lot like this word here.、Uh, now, in most situations, you know, the context will make it clear if you're talking about this or this. Right, it will be obvious in the context, but there could be a context maybe where, where it's not clear, you know. You know, like if you say that guy's a really good penist, that guy's a really good penist. Okay, it could sort of sound like that guy has a really good penis. Okay, that guy's a really good penis. That guy's a really good, that guy's a really good penis. Right, <laughs> I don't know, they, they could sound. Similar, right?、Um, now, the way a lot of people pronounce that word is like with two syllables penist, penist. Okay, but a lot of people, you know, understand that this word sounds like penis, so they, they say it with three syllables pianist, okay, pianist, and they put the stress on the second syllable, okay. Pianist, pianist, pianist. And, and that's a lot safer, right? That's,、uh, that's, much, that's much more different than, than penis, right?、Um, now, if you want to be really safe, then you can just say piano player, piano player. And that's, that's great too. I mean, for most other instruments, we use the word player, right? Like guitar player, you could say guitarist. But、uh, most people would just say guitar player or bass player. You know,、uh, you could say bassist, but again, I think it's more common to say bass player. So you could say piano player if you just want to avoid the word penist altogether. Okay, so the next word is bitumen. Bitumen. Now, bitumen is a kind of oil, I think. I don't really know what it is, I don't know much about this kind of stuff, but sometimes. I hear on the news people talking about bitumen here in Alberta. You know, Alberta's really,、um, the Alberta economy is really based on oil. So if you listen to the news here in Calgary, they're always talking about oil and pipelines and transporting our oil. That's one of the problems Alberta has right now. We have so much oil, but, but there's no really, there's no good way to get it out of Alberta. So on the news, they, They use this word. I don't really know what it means, but it's bitumen. It sounds a lot like the word bitch, right? And bitch is a bad word to describe a woman. Okay,、uh, it's not a good word. Now, you know that. You, you probably know that it's,、uh, you know, this. But actually, one thing you might not know is that the word bitch means a female dog. Okay, so this is not a bad word. If you're talking about a female dog, it's a normal word. Okay,、um, maybe you didn't know that. Hey, smash that like button down there if you didn't know、uh, that, that bitch is、uh, the word for a female dog. You know, people who work with dogs use this word all the time, right? You might hear someone say, you know, I'm taking care of five bitches. Or, I've got five bitches、um, coming in today for some grooming or, or something like that. Okay, so. So, really, this is not a bad word. It's just the word, you know, for animals, a lot of times there's, there's one word for a female and another word for a male, right? Like with a cow, a cow is female and a bull is male or a steer. What's the difference between a bull and a steer? I'm not sure. I don't know much about animals, but very often there, there are sort of two different names. Okay, so, so the word bitch just means a female dog. So, maybe you didn't know that. Okay, now the word bitch is also a slang word for something unpleasant. Unpleasant. Okay, so you could say,、uh, This weather is a real bitch. 
this weather is a real bitch. Maybe there's a storm. Maybe it's been raining for a few days. You could say, yeah, this weather is a real bitch. Okay, uh, but remember that this is a very this is a very slang way to say it. it's not good to use this word like this in normal situations. Okay, or you could say, you know, washing machines are a bitch to fix. Washing machines are a bitch to fix. It's hard to fix washing machines, or it's it's annoying, it's unpleasant, it's a lot of work. Okay, so washing machines are a bitch to fix. Now, bitch can also be a, a verb. Okay, if you use it like this, talking about the weather or washing machines, then it's a noun. Okay, but it can also be a verb. To bitch about something means to complain about something. Okay, um, for example, he's always bitching about his boss. He's always bitching about his boss. That means he's always complaining about his boss. Now remember, if you want to use this word, uh, the only the only way you can use it in a good way is if you're talking about a female dog, right? Every other way is bad, right? If you use this word to talk about a woman or to talk about a man, sometimes people even use this word to talk about men, okay? So it's bad to talk about a human being, uh, you know, using this word. It's bad if you talk about it with the weather or with a washing machine. It's it's not a polite word. The only, the only case where he, it, it could be normal is if you're talking about about a dog. Okay, so let's look at the next word. The next one is penal. Penal. Now, uh, this word has to do with, with like crime and punishment, those kind of issues. Okay, um, so it's an adjective. Now, very often you'll see it like this, a penal, a penal system. That means the system of of, of dealing with, with, with crime in a, in a country. Okay, or penal institution. A penal institution is like a jail, right? That would be an example of a penal institution. Or penal reform. Okay, very often in politics, you hear, you hear like people talking about criminal justice reform, right? People say maybe our penal system is broken. We need, we need a better system. Did you know that the U.S has privately owned prisons. Okay, so in the US they talk a lot about this because the prisons are are I think all of them, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them are privately owned. So they're like businesses. Can you imagine like a prison like a business? So the people who own the prison want people to commit crimes and go into the to jail because then they make money. Can you believe that? That is just the worst idea in the world. To give business owners an incentive, like to profit off crime, right? Nobody should be profiting off crime. <laughs> That's just the worst idea. I don't know why the US, the US has the highest prison population in the world. And you know why, right? It's because it's like people are making money. Imagine if there was no crime in the US, all the prisons would go out of business and those people wouldn't be happy, right? Imagine if your business went out of business. Imagine if Mad English TV went out of business. I wouldn't be happy, but thankfully my business is trying to do good things. I want you to be good. I don't want you to commit crimes, right? But if I owned a prison, then I would sort of want you to commit a crime and come to my prison so I can make a lot of money. Right, it's a very bad system. So, so yeah, in in U.S. politics, they talk a lot about like criminal justice reform. Um, now, the reason it's sort of it can sound like a bad word is because uh, it sounds like this word penile, penile. Now, this is the adjective form of penis. Okay, for example, uh, you could say he has penile cancer. He has penile cancer. That means he has cancer in his penis. Okay, um, it's not really a bad word, but you know, it just sounds pen penal, penile, right? It can sound sort of the same. Okay, the next one is sectional. Sectional. Now, this kind of a couch is called a sectional. It's sort of got got two pieces or maybe even three or four pieces. You know, sometimes a room has like, you know, a, a, a sofa or a couch. Sofa and couch. Here in Canada, I think, I don't know if a lot of people say, I say couch, but I know a lot of people probably say sofa too, or Chesterfield. You know, sometimes in Canada, people use the word, I think that's sort of an old word, the, uh, the word Chesterfield for a couch. 
Okay, but this is a sectional where you have like, you know, sometimes you, you go to people's houses and in the basement they have a couch like this with a, you know, a TV and this is sort of their their place to just, just relax, you know, watch some movies down in their basement. So they might have something like this with like two or three pieces, you know, it's a pretty big, big couch. Anyway, it's called a sectional, a sectional. Now, the word sectional sort of sounds like sexual, right? I mean, listen, sectional, sexual, sectional, sexual. It's, you know, it's pretty close. Okay, the next word is funk, funk, funk. Now, funk is a kind of music. Did you know that? It's a kind of music with a, a good rhythm. Um, so there's, there's usually drums and electric guitar, but uh, it's not rock music. It's sort of like a combination between rock and jazz. They, they use instruments like saxophones or, or trumpets or other kinds of horn instruments. So, I don't know, you can just Google, you could Google funk music just to hear, to hear an example of what it is. I never really listened to, to funk music, but, but yeah, it's a kind of music. Okay, uh, also, it, uh, it can be used to describe a smell. Hmm, smells a bit funky in here. It smells a bit funky. That means it sort of smells strange. You know, if a house or a room, some, a basement, that's a good example. You know, the basement can sort of smell a bit funky. Or I guess for a basement, maybe a better word would be the word musty. Musty. Musty sort of has that smell of like, of uh, sort of dusty and moldy almost. You know, if, if it's musty, yeah, hmm, musty. Maybe that's a better word for a basement. But but funky, yeah, it just means it just means it smells sort of strange. Something has a strange smell. Okay, so so the word funk sort of sounds like the F word, right? You know what the F word is. Now, when people don't want to say that word, then they say the F word. Okay, um, or they might use a word like this: "My effing car broke down," right? It's like saying my stupid car broke down, my effing car, if they don't actually want to say the real F word. But anyway, let's do some homework. I want you to tell me a word in your language that sounds bad, but isn't, right? These words that I've shared with you, funk, sectional, penile, um, penist, right? Those aren't bad words. Those are just normal words, actually. So... So I'm sure in your language, you have examples like this too, of a word that sounds bad but isn't. So I want you to teach me some about your language. So leave your comment down there in uh, below the video, and I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.